In the last video, we discussed how to pre-train LLMs such as GPT-2 with your documentation repository. This video focuses on another aspect of making your docs ready for AI. The more useful way to implement AI on top of your documentation projects is by using Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, and making docs ready for it is perhaps the first step you would take in our current times. Our focus is primarily on Sphinx projects today and three Sphinx tools that you can make use of. Think of them as super tools, each with a very specific job. Together they can help us transform our documentation from being just human readable to being totally AI consumable. The first tool is the meta directive that is natively built in for Sphinx projects and you can use it right away. Its main job historically has been all about classic search engine optimization. You know, you use it to manually stick HTML meta tags like descriptions and keywords into each page. It's all about helping traditional search engines figure out what your content is about. Next, we've got an extension called Sphinx Tags. This tool is all about organizing things semantically. It lets you add these really clear, human-readable tags to all of your pages. And this isn't just for show. It helps users find related content. And it even automatically creates these handy index pages for every tag, opening up totally new ways for people to explore your docs. And finally, we have the newcomer to the scene, llms.txt. This is a special file that gets generated by the Sphinx LLMS TXT extension. The goal of this tool is to create super clean, simple, and flat text files of your entire documentation set. It was designed from the ground up to be the perfect, easy-to-digest food for large language models. We're going to do a head-to-head -head comparison and see how they really stock up against each other when we start looking at different goals. You know, everything from the setup effort to their actual AI performance. First things first, let's talk about how hard these are to set up. Well, the meta directive, it's built in. The effort is basically zero, so it's a clear winner in terms of configuration. But it requires a manual effort that you need to put in on each RST page to define metadata. There's no index generation since it remains hidden for the user, but is primarily aimed for search engine optimization and search metadata. For Sphinx tags and LLMS.txt, you would need to install Sphinx extensions by just adding a single line to your requirements.txt file and you're done. So really in every case the barrier to getting started is incredibly low. But hold on before we dive deep into the AI stuff. Let's think about the classic use case. What about just helping your human users and advanced search engines like Covio? How do our tools do there? And this right here, it makes their roles crystal clear. For that old school SEO and Covio based searches, Meta Directive is the undisputed king. It adds those essential descriptions and keyword tags. Now, for user navigation, Sphinx tags take the lead. It creates visible topic labels and those tag index pages that people can actually click on. And as far as LLMS.txt is concerned, it's not even playing this game because it was never meant for the front-end use case. Okay, it's time for the main event. This is probably why you're watching. When it comes down to feeding a modern RAG pipeline for a new LLM-powered app, which of these tools was actually built for that job? And the answer is completely unambiguous. LLMS.txt is the only tool on our list that was specifically designed for this. Its whole purpose is to create output that's ready for what we call chunking and embedding. For this tool, feeding AI isn't some happy accident or an afterthought. It's literally the entire point. And this number zero just brilliantly illustrates one of the biggest wins here. After that one-time setup, the amount of effort you have to put in on a page-by-page -page basis is zero. Nothing at all. It just automatically processes your entire doc set every single time you build. It's a true set it and forget solution for getting your docs ready for AI. Alright, so we've seen what each tool does best. 
Now for the fun part, let's build some practical, actionable recipes. We'll take a few really common goals and figure out the ideal tool stack for each one. So let's start with a classic goal. You just want to get the absolute best search quality out of a traditional enterprise search tool, something like Covio. For this, you really want a combination. You're going to use the meta directive for those page level descriptions and keywords that gives the search engine really rich metadata to work with. Then you'll add Sphinx tags on top to give it semantic context, which improves relevance and even lets you do topic-based filtering in your search results. Now for our main focus, let's say you want to build a cutting-edge RAG pipeline to power a chatbot or some other cool AI feature. The recipe is pretty simple. The LLMS.txt generator is absolutely non-negotiable. It's required. That's what gives the AI the clean full text content it needs to actually learn. But as an optional and very powerful add-on, you can also use your meta description to give a clean one-sentence summary for each document. That can be super useful for AI. But what if your main goal isn't to build for search at all? What if you just want to improve how your human users explore and find content on their own just by navigating through your site? In that case, Sphinx Tags is your hero. You want to use it to tag all your content by topic. And then, and this is the really crucial part, you add that auto-generated tag index page right into your main table of contents. This gives your users a completely new way to slice and dice and explore your documentation. Now, let's look at a more hybrid goal. You want to power a search experience that actually uses AI to generate smart snippets or answer cards right there in the search results. For this powerful combo, you're going to need two things. First, LLMS.txt that provides the full text corpus that the AI can read and understand to find the real answer and the second, meta directive on each page that gives you a perfect, concise summary for the system as a high-quality snippet. It's the best of both worlds, so by just picking the right combination of these simple tools, you can completely transform your documentation from, you know, a static website into a dynamic AI-ready knowledge base. Well, that's it for now. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next one.